Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'll call Phoenix here and welcome to episode number three of my Ragnarok season two Let's Play series. We're out on the Equus at the moment. Having a look along the, the uh, creek line, river line, whatever you want to call it, and just seeing what's around here. I've just got to keep an eye out for the Gigantotaurus, um, for the Gigas, but I think we'll be okay. Just going to look around down here. I went up to the waterfall and stuff and had a look up there. There wasn't really a lot to see on that particular waterfall. Um, I did have a comment uh, last episode who asked if I checked out the waterfall yet, and I said I would in this episode. Now, I'm not sure whether that's the waterfall they're referring to, or whether it's this down here further or something like that. Because there's definitely stuff down here. There's obsidian along the, the waterline here as well, which is super good. I think it may be the... No, I don't see a waterfall down here. I'm very confused about what waterfall they're talking about because I went up to the waterfall and that that was near my, near where my base is now, and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't like, um, go in the wall or anything. So I'm not sure. Looks like a lot of flat land out there. Now I know the Giga was over this direction somewhere, so I wonder whether he's. Moved on with his life, or whether he's still over here. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's have a look down here, though. Oh, is it this? Is it this one here? That they were talking about. Whoop. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Oh, this is pretty nice in here. It's very green. It's quite a little bit of area in here, actually. This is quite nice. I've got a level up, I believe. I've got a few level ups. Bump a couple in fort, movement, stam. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this could be a potential base location inside this cave. Um, there's a little bit of metal on the outside of it. The water's quite close. Doesn't seem too nasty over here. At the moment, at least. Because I haven't really explored much of the highlands. I lived all the way... I lived all the way down into the bottom. Well, I actually really didn't... Yeah, I lived all the way down. You can see the home marker is still pinned on my map from last season. So, I lived the complete opposite end of the map in relation to the Highlands, so I barely ever came here last season. Mainly because I just didn't want to travel all that distance. Alright, so we know where the, the cave is, um, that's behind the waterfall. Let's have a look out in this field. We should be able to outrun the majority of things that might come after us as well. Right, there's aloes over there. Complete pack of aloes. Is it a rarity to have aloes, like, not in a pack? Is that ever a thing? Also, I want to put my... Where is it? My view distance on epic. If it will let me. Thank you. Apply. Okay, cool. I still can't see the aloes from here, though. They're not loaded in. Which is kind of annoying, because it could be a big, spooky, freaking Gigantotaurus and that, and I'll get close enough to it and get shit on by it. Let's see, is there anything else over here apart from these aloes? Pteranodons galore. We're not- oh, shit. We're not actually far from the lava zone, so getting some Carnos and Rexes and stuff probably wouldn't be too hard. Or at least, we don't have to travel far to do it, which is good. Let's head this way. Should be back to base. Um, I did have a Diplo that was continuously annoying the shit out of me before, and I was trying to knock it out with the... with the Equuses, but it didn't seem to work. Um, I don't know whether it's even able to be knocked out. I guess it is. We've got these Brontos that are pretty close as well. Wow, that took way more health than I thought it would. Crap. Can I keep up with the sun? Yeah, look at this dickhead. 
You wanna just go away? You're really annoying, dude. You know what? Let's just, um, whistle. No. Attack this target. Thanks. Now let's let them do their thing. Uh, can you... Can you also, like, attack this target? No. No. I always get these button combinations wrong. Attack the target! Thank you. Hey, now they're both it. Now they're both doing it. Let's grab out our pike. And let's just get some damage on this guy as well. It's a level 145. But it's just really annoying me now. It's actually stuck on top of the pillar. Are you kidding me? I'm always just killing Diplos over here. What the fuck happened? What the hell was that? I just got launched. How the hell did that happen? Did he bat me that hard that I just went flying off the cliff? Holy crap, dude. Alright, guys and girls, we're gonna try getting the Pteranodon tamed again. Actually, no, we need keratin. That's what I need. Okay. Um... Alright, how are we gonna get keratin? Because, like, these guys aren't the strongest things in the world. I mean, they can be okay. Alright, let's see. Let's spin him around. I'm not sure how he took... So oh, I guess he took the fall damage, didn't he? Ah, I'm stuck on the railing. Okay, this, this pen can suck my bum. This is terrible. This doesn't work. We need to find turtles. Now, I know turtles were back where we spawned. Now, is Giga over here? Well, we've got, we've got a Tyranodon tamed over here, technically. He's just not a very good level. Level 37. Meh. Yeah, I know there was, like... Uh... Turtles down here. Alright, let's just take the risk. Yeah, there is the Giga still here. He's over there, but it, boy. Over there, boy. He's just hanging out, man. Let's try not to fuck with him. I guess I get keratin off the trikes, don't I? Oh. Did I do that? Alright. Okay. These turtles are going to be pretty tanky, is the thing. Level 25, that's not bad. It's pretty low level. Level 25. Okay, here we go. Right, they hit me okay, but it's not, not too painful. We can just keep backing up and smacking them here. That's what we could do. Just hit one at a time. I'm just keeping an eye on my surroundings. That Giga is way too close for comfort, dude. Look where it is, my god. Oh. Dude, that thing makes me nervous as hell. Oh, go away. Go away. Suck my ass. Let's just get this and we get the fuck out of here. Cool. We're going. We're going along the beach side though. Gonna be on the safe side. Screw that thing right away. Uh, movement? Yeah, that thing can just suck a lemon, dude. What level are you, boy? 95. You know what? You're our next contender. Congratulations. You win. No! No, 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 Do you want to go out? There we go. My god. 
Okay, put some prime on you. Could you not do that, Equus, next time? Let's just move over here just in case, too, because I'm still very nervous that maybe that Giga will get aggroed somehow on that Bronto. And then we'll be in for a whole world of hurt. All right, so I'm going to wait here for this guy to tame up, and I'll see you guys and girls in a minute. All right, so I figured while we were waiting, we could make this Tyranodon saddle. Let's get this done. Boom. All right. So, we got that. Let's go movement speed. I kind of want to be on foot when I go down there. Because I feel like if I'm on foot, that's also a less of a chance for the, the Giga to potentially attack me. Um, I just want to get weight off of me because I know I want the extra weight. Well, actually, what we should do is... We'll take the bowlers with us still because they don't really put too much weight on. Grab some food. Grab a drink while we're here. Make sure we top off a couple of the water skins. Even though we'll be next to water anyway. And we'll head down there on foot because I just feel safer going down there on foot. If the Giga happens to, to attack, it's only going to kill me and the Pteranodon and not my Equus. Because I really like my Equus. And I've got the saddle on me so I should be able to fly it back on that as long as it tames out without it dying or me dying. I can't believe that hurts. It's not much, but every little bit of health counts when you're playing on a map that has dinos that, in some ways, the spawns don't make sense. Like, mantises spawn out in the highlands. That just seems weird to me. I don't understand that at all. Like, the desert, yeah, fair enough. So it's, like, scorched, but, like, I don't know why they spawn out in the highlands at all. That just confuses me greatly. Oh, shit's already up. Make sure we whistle not to fly away. 133 Pteranodon. Not bad at all, dude. You are a fine specimen, you are. Let's get a saddle on you. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Let's have a look. So this Giga has, like, somewhat of a path to my base, kind of. But it seems like he's going to end up stuck hanging out in this area. I hope. He's just going to circle this area till the end of time. Like, he could, he could probably walk a long ways around. Which makes me wonder, if he's still down there, that means the other Giga that was up here was a second one. And not a separate one. Like, it wasn't the same one, which is more worrying to me. The fact there's two hanging out over here. Ooh, there's one of those water things, like in Scorched. Water wells or whatever, that's pretty cool. Definitely bumping movement speed on this guy. Because we have the classic Flyers mod, because Ark's stupid and reduced the fucking flying speeds on all the Flyer dinos, which is just fucking dumb to me. What is this? Is this potatoes? Is this the potatoes? This is the potatoes. Cool. Alright, so we know potatoes are over here now as well. I just want to have a fly around the Highlands area and see what dinos we've got spawning here. So we got a... More Equus. What level is you guys? I don't have anything... I don't have rock carrots on me to give you guys, but... You're a 135. That's not bad at all. Oh, shit. Okay, so this guy still is up here. Fuck, he's so close to our base. Look at that. He's only just up the cliff from us. If he decides, fuck it, and he comes down on top of the Brontos, he will massacre us and all our dinos. That's too close, dude. And there's no way I can just, like, kill him. His health would be insane. What am I supposed to do? I mean... You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lead him away. Come here, baby. Hey! Hey, my dude. 
We'll just lead you down here to the waterfront, hey? Maybe over this way. Come on, you can get me, buddy. You can get to me. Oh shit, he's quick. Look at that, he just killed that trike in one munch. Hey! Don't forget about me, oh shit! I wish he would just stop attacking shit. I mean, I've led him away a fair distance. Oh, fuck. He's going to munch on those Gallimimuses, because that's his AI. Yeah, I'd rather have him down over here. We can always, like, lead him back away again if we decide to move down to the waterfall. Hey! Oh, fuck! Okay, this is probably far enough. Let's get up. Alright, he's gonna do his own thing. He's now at least away from my base. Hopefully, he won't maneuver his way back. Although, he's already running his way back. But hopefully, he kind of chills over in that area now and away from me. I'd rather him be over there than near me. I didn't get a chance to see what level he was. I mean, I thought if he was a really high level, he probably would have just munched me in one shot, and I got a couple out. Well, it probably would have been three shots and I would have been dead. But now I know he's at least away from me, which is the good thing. Alright, uh, stop eating my prime. It's all passive on all of you, because I know the Pteranodon's probably not on passive. Uh, prime goes back in here. You can have a bunch of meat on you, Pteranodon. We'll get your heal on. There you go, buddy. How's that? Seth better. That big scary dino hurt you, didn't he? Yeah, he took a bite out of you. He took a bite out of you, you poor bastard. He's a gone now. He's gone now, Tyrannodon. He's gone. It's okay. Alright. Beautiful. Alright, so we got a Tyrannodon now. We really just need kind of like a berry eating dino. Or like a, ber a berry gathering dino, I guess. Uh, Trank. Now, I'm not sure how many arrows it's going to take. I need to knock out a trike, at least. A trike to start with. Um, that can be a ber berry gathering dino of choice for now, because there, there's quite a few around. So, it should be easy enough to do it. I'm just quickly looking up roughly what I'd need. Uh, probably about 23 arrows. 23, but 151 if I hit him in the head. So I want to be hitting him in the booty, basically. No, I want to be hitting the trike in the head. So let's see, where's the nearest trike to us? Right there. What level are you, my friendo? You are a level 20. You are a very low level. This should be easy. Okay, let's just run in circles. So we make sure we hit body shots and not headshots. Look at this turning radius, dude. He just can't get me. Ah, he's about to be down. Well, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? It's easy when you when you you know not being stupid. I can't believe that 151 in the head because of his like armored plated face. Uh, I need berries. That's what I'm looking for. Medjo berries, sweet. So he's not going to be a super high level, but we only need him just to grab narco berries and that, so we can tame better things anyway. It's all he's going to be used for. He's a berry bitch, and that's it. Just a berry gathering bitch. Are you a bitch? No, you're a man. Berry gathering... Yeah, he's still a bitch. <laughs> uh, at some point, I really want some dinos that are powerful enough to take out these Brontos, because it seems like last season of Ragnarok, I had the exact same problem, except I spawned, like, over to the left-hand side of the map. 
and I still had the problem with the fucking Brontos. They're just everywhere, and they're extremely obnoxious, banging their feet around, and serving no purpose. And if you accidentally hit one of them, like when their tail clips through shit, you're just going to die, and your base is going to get broken down. It's super annoying. Okay, we need a trike saddle now, so you follow me. Whistle passive on you as well. Let's get our trike saddle. Alright. Trikey, trikey, trike. Trike. Trike saddle. Oh, that should be easy. Trike. Bang. I don't have enough wood. I bet ya. I bet you it's wood. Alright, so you stay here. Uh, we'll go on you, I guess, to the nearest source of wood, which is over here. And because this, this guy gets uh, weight reduction on that, we should be able to carry quite a fair bit back. No problem at all. I love this area, I just don't, I just still don't understand some of the dino spawns. Like, mantises are just over that ridge. Like, it's crazy. Wow. Man, I can carry quite a fair bit of wood, actually. Okay. Nice. Ah, that's my limit. Come out. It's, uh... Let's do it this way. Can I can I have some wood? Thanks. And bump. Wait a little bit more. We'll just grab a bunch while we're already over here, because it would make sense to do so. Alright, last tree, come on. Alright, cool. Let's head back. Start getting some berries gathered. It's gonna hurt me. Uh, can I time it perfectly so I don't get hurt? Well, I guess I wouldn't get hurt anyway, because this isn't a very high fall. Gets good momentum up, though. Look at that. Look at the momentum you can get. Fuck you, Gallimimus. You messed up my momentum, my flow, bro. Okay, let's just jump off here. It's getting a little bit crowded at the front of the house. Alright, alright. Well, you guys need to calm down. We just need to pull wood as a resource. Wood. Bang. Whoops. Bang, boom. Done. Trike. Done. Get that crafted up. Let's get these in here. And trike saddle. Okay, beautiful. Where are you, trike? This conglomeration of bullshit over here. Do wait. Alright, time to move five feet and be out of stamina. Here we go. Go, trikey, go! Look at that, it's already halfway out. I swear to God, Bronto, you can keep your fucking tail to yourself. How's that sound, huh? Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, baby. That is the stuff right there. We can just basically drop everything else. I couldn't care less about that. Don't hit the Bronto. Okay. It sucks that all this isn't actual grass. Alright, I think that's more than enough though, honestly. I think having like 500 plus narco berries is gonna do us. Let's see, how much can I get? 50? Not bad, not bad. Could be better, could be worse. Alright, we'll put these in here. Maybe we can get more now. Oh yeah, we can. 113. That is the stuff right there, dude. Alright, so, so far today's been real good. I still don't understand, guys and girls, how to fix this. So if you guys and girls know, can you please let me know in the comments section down below? I would truly appreciate it. Even if you link me to a video of someone showing how this doesn't end up looking shit, then I would really appreciate it. So anyway, guys and girls, I think that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. 
If you want to see more Ark Survival Evolve Ragnarok in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.